and welcome back to Plant Based Soul Mace. My name is Samantha and my husband's name is Terrence. And what we will be making for you today is my absolute, absolute favorite recipe that Terrence makes and it is his guacamole. So if you would like to see how we make that, then stay tuned and he will be making it for you. All right, welcome back folks. My name is Terrence, I'm Samantha's husband and I'm going to show you how I make my easy, wonderful guacamole. First, we have avocado. What you want to do is, well, you really want a good knife. Mine are dull right now, but you want to get into it, hit the seed and go around. You don't want to cut your hand. Get it, twist it, voila. And then, of course, avocados, you're going to have some parts that are brown, but don't worry, you can always take those out and just get it to where you see the green. And there you go. Just discarded that. And then to get the seed out, Pop it, twist it, and remove it. So what you want to do now is get you a spoon and you want to dig the uh, avocado out. I was about to say guacamole. It'd be easy if it was guacamole we're digging out, right? And just scrape around the walls. And remember, get the bad parts out. Just because you see a little brown doesn't mean the whole thing is bad. You just get your spoon, go around it, and you put it in your bowl. Let's get all that goodness out. All right. Now, it's time to cut up our tomatoes that easy to do we like our stuff a little chunky just like we like our salsa or pico that we made and you just get your tomato cut it And now we want to get our white onion. I don't know about y'all, but I like onions. So adds flavor to everything that you eat and make. And this is what's really gonna give it its flavor. Believe it or not, that red onion that I have over here that I'm gonna cut up in a little bit, it really sets the flavor right along with the white onion and the cilantro, the jalapeno, the tomatoes, everything, the lime. And you'd be surprised how good this is. I don't know how many of y'all, I mean, sometimes I get lazy. I know how to make guacamole, but sometimes I get lazy and I just go to the store and buy it. And it's not really the same, but you gotta make it do what it do. All right, we have our jalapeno too. And what you wanna do is, you wanna cut one up with the rib in there. And I don't know how many of you all know this, but fun fact is that the jalapeno itself is not hot. What's hot and spicy is the rib. So just cut those up as big as you want it or as small as you want it. You can never go wrong with guacamole. So with the second one, you want to de-rib it. And what I mean by de-rib, cut it in half and take the middle part out. Because if you don't, this is gonna be very spicy unless you like spicy, spicy. But like I was spicy, but not that spicy. Now 
Next is our cilantro. We have a handful, but we like cilantro. And I know a lot of people don't like cilantro, but this is a key ingredient to this dish. And you don't necessarily have to put it in there, but I like it. My wife likes it. And a lot of people that I've given it to, they like it. So um, we're gonna put ours in there. Just roughly chop it. It don't have to be perfect. Just chop it up. I usually put the stems in there too. They pack a lot of flavor. We have our lemon. Normally, I do a half a lemon, and I'm gonna tell you why. The half a lemon can be strong right along with the uh, lime, and you don't want it to be overbearing because if you do, then it will be a little too tart. All right, found my lemon squeezy pleasy. Yeah, that was dorky, I know. Don't roast me too much in the comments. So I'm gonna move my cutting board out the way. Bring my bowl over. All right, we're gonna squeeze this lemon. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use a full lemon in this one. Cause I feel like I didn't get enough juice out of it, so. And here we have a half of lime. time y'all been waiting on the sodium <laughs> we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit because this is coarse sea salt I'm sorry it's quite strong good old potato masher can't leave home without it well technically we are home but we're here we got it we're gonna mash some avocados onions jalapenos tomatoes cilantro and we're gonna make guacamole for you all don't be shy with it, just get in it. Of course, some of them gonna hop out the bowl, but that's fine. And we have guacamole. Hey, so guess what we have? Yeah. Well. There you go. Guacamole. I don't think it's gonna focus. Uh, yeah, there you go. There we go. <laughs> All right. So this is a cheat meal for us because normally we follow Dr. McDougall's starch solution plan. So on there you don't eat avocados because it's fat. We eat a low fat, high carb diet. Right. So we mostly just eat potatoes and brown <laughs> rice. <laughs> we eat a lot of potatoes. She does, I like salad, so. And, oh well, and salad. So this is gonna be a real treat because I love my guacamole, especially Terrence's. So, <laughs> let's dive right in and let's try this. One, two, let's three. see, did you do good? Did you do good? I, I think I did good. You think you did? I think so. Are you sure? Yeah, well, I mean. Well, I'll be the judge of it. To me, I think it's Moe's quality. Moe's quality? Just saying. What? <laughs> you think it's that good though? Yeah. They hmm. just like Moe's. Just saying. <laughs> 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 oh. I like it. Oh my goodness. I love it. I want some more of it. If you can't tell, I'm a bit dramatic at times. But there's nothing dramatic about this guacamole. This guacamole. This, this, this guacamole. Okay. This guacamole <laughs> is really outstanding. Make sure you eat all your guacamole now. <laughs> If you guys don't try any other recipe on our channel, you have to try this guacamole. It is the best. And the salt content is really up to you. I mean, if you're really sensitive to salt, then just add a little bit and then just go from there. Just taste it, stir, taste, and then just see what you like and then just keep going from there. And also the uh, cilantro is up to you as well. Um, you don't have to use all the ingredients that I use. I just like using those ingredients because it tastes good, it pairs good together, and when everything marries together, it, it gives you a burst of flavor. So just give it a try if you don't like it next time you make it. 
I mean, you can always alter it yourself. And, uh, and if you do uh, decide to make this recipe, let us know what you used in it and what you changed. And um, we can probably remake that and see how it is, so. Or how you make your guacamole. Yeah. Because we always like to see how other people make things because we're always curious. I'm adventurous when it comes to cooking, so if you go back and watch one of her videos, uh, what, was, what was the title? The um, reason why she went plant-based in 2020. Yeah, I had, she mentioned a little experimental oh. dish I did. Yes, yes, yeah. the experimental dish. Needless to say, I was experimenting, but it came out bad. I will say that, so. Nope, nope, yeah. nope. don't do it, don't do it. I experiment with food all the time, so. But this is our end result. I hope you guys make this because it's really good. It's like really, 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 really good. Like a million times good. And if you like Moe's, I'm telling you, it tastes just like Moe's guacamole. It does. It's been a while since I had Moe's, but I'm just going on what he says. Yeah. So, so if you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment below what you guys like in your guacamole or how you guys make it because we are always interested in how other people make their guacamole because this is a favorite of both of ours. It is. So please subscribe and we will be making more food related content in the future. And we will also be having some travel vlogs coming up very, very soon for our anniversary. So subscribe, that way so you can be notified whenever we travel and we eat tons and tons and tons of good food. <laughs> so. Also let us know uh, if you want to see something recreated in a vegan form mm -hmm. and we give it a try i mean we we're up to a challenge so yeah we love to to create things and just get our creative juices going because we created this channel not for monetary value but we created it just to have fun and be creative yeah. and just share our recipes because down the road we want to be able to look back and say oh well we created this so let's look let's see if we can create it again and then just tweak it and then we always do things just to better ourselves that's my spiel <laughs> what she said what, what i said but we'll see you all in the next episode coming up and um if you're new to the channel welcome uh if you're returning hey thank you we love to have you and thank you so thank you for being the original ogs we know who you are don't forget that we know who you are i see it really i do mm -hmm. okay, whatever. all right anyways but well, we're gonna end on that note and we will see you later and thank you for um, tuning in to plant-based soulmates and we will holler back at y'all